Hello, welcome to my channel. Today's video tutorial is all about breakout rooms. Breakout rooms is very useful when you are planning to have group activities, assigning your teams in small groups to discuss and to plan for their own work. So how are we going to do this? Let's start. So first, you have to go to your desired subject and make sure that you have created groups. Creating groups is almost the same as creating channel. So click on the triple dots here for more options. And then add channel. Okay, so I have already created group one and group two. Now I'm going to create group three. Make sure that you have clicked the arrow down here to make it private and click on next. Once you could create on private, you have or you can already add students on it. Okay, so in case this already made, this name is already taken. So I have added another letter just to make it different. All right, so now I can add students. So you can type the student's name on it and you can click on add. Okay, then you can click on the check mark if you want these names or to add another 31 members. But since I'm just going to add myself, I will click on X. Okay, and add. If it, you added it, you can click on skip now. So we have already created our groups for the breakup rooms, breakout rooms. Now, during your class and on the meeting, you may decide that you will have a group activity for them to collaborate or to discuss a certain topic. So while on the meeting, you may go out on the meeting, don't click the end, and simply go to each group from each group you may click on it and make a call or create another meeting when you create another meeting students from that group may also receive another call you may go out from that meeting again and you can go to the next group for another meeting so that's, that is because for the teacher to monitor and maybe to instruct the students about their activity. You can click it one more time. Go to the next group and create another meeting for this group of students. And click on join. Now as a teacher, you may go each of the group. You can and assist the students or tell them about their activities so they will be guided and then after the time that you have set you may just end all the calls from each of the group to tell them that it's already time so just simply end every meeting all right that means the time is already over instruct your students to leave and go back to the main meeting room. There you go. So from when the students have back to the room, you may already discuss and assess or let the students talk about their observation or their feedback or their report. So this is how to do a breakout room. Hope you have enjoyed and learned from this video. Till next time, thank you so much. Bye.